Hi everyone, I uh, thought I would um, send, I guess make a video I should say, on um, a 61.8% uh, Fib CPR and again just understanding what CPRs ultimately are, capture pain relief and what we're doing is we're reverse engineering um, typical uh, support and resistance strategies and then identifying where traders get caught in their positions. Um, so that we can take advantage with the uh, supply and demand equation that happens generally at that area. So um, what it was was that, um, I think it was Sam, one second, I think Sam um, posted uh, some CPR feedback. Yeah, here it was. And it was to do with the uh, dollar yen. And I actually, in my video um, earlier today in the trading videos channel, um, <clears throat> I actually covered this as well, so uh, good to see that Sam has seen this, but also as well, um, I was looking around in fact, and I saw this on the uh, New Zealand uh, yen, and I really like this level. Now, again, just to kind of spot to see where we are, right, and, and why, what makes this area um, a, a really good area, or 61.8% fit, because first of all, uh, traders, if you're looking at you know this high and this low, yeah, Traders would generally take, uh, are looking for, first of all, strong moves to a certain direction, obvious moves, and then they're looking for pullbacks into um, two really key areas, which are the 38.2 and the 61.8% FIB. So, as you can see right now, prices came up to that 61.8% FIB. It gave a really nice, if you look, really nice little uh, pin bar there. But also, as well, um, traders won't just take. 61.8% fibs to the short side, right? They're going to want to look for confluence and that confluence takes uh, shape in an obvious support and resistance level. This level being, you know, resistance, 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 and support there, etc. right? So you can see it's been historically traded. So lots of confluence for traders to get involved there. Now that's not to say that this um, that this trade can't work. Of course it can, right? If, if prices went to the downside, that's brilliant for them. <clears throat> we don't enter their trade in, in that in that manner. We're not just entering, you know, 61.8% Fibonacci pullbacks with um, support or resistance as confluence. But what we are doing is we're identifying where those typical trades that other YouTube traders, TikTok traders start to take those trades and understand where they're caught. So they've committed capital because they thought that prices were gonna continue to the downside. Yeah, that's just basically what it is. And prices have gone against them. It's due to loss aversion bias. Traders will generally move and remove their stop losses that were placed above here because they don't wanna accept the loss. So there's a lot of pain. And this is really, really nice as well, simply because these traders were not allowed off the hook, right? Prices went against them quite violently, quite viciously, and prices haven't allowed them to really, you know, prices to pull back to that level for them to, um, for them to potentially just realise their original uh, loss. Yeah. So right now, these traders at this level, whoever took, if they haven't blown their account already, yeah, if they haven't blown up their account, then this area is where they're going to be motivated to potentially want to exit their trade because if they went short here, if they sold here, then in order to exit their trade, they have to buy. Yeah, and again, CPR is just understanding levels. Yeah, and all the market participants at those levels and why there should be more demand or supply or supply than demand at a level. Right, so we know that the retracement trader is in here. Yeah prices have gone against them they haven't been allowed off the hook and now they're motivated to exit this trade if they sold then they have to do what to exit they have to buy to exit you're going to have new traders yeah that are going to get involved in this trade if prices come down here this is going to be a level where generally support and resistance traders will look to get involved they're getting involved at various levels so they get involved you know maybe somewhere around here if that level doesn't work then they might get involved at a lower level right that lower level being where we want to get involved in. Um, one second. Yeah. They want to get involved in there. If that works out for them, then good for them. But if it doesn't work out and prices continue to go lower down to this level, we understand that there are traders that are going to be caught or that are caught in this level. Um, also assisting 
traders who are looking to buy at these levels as well right so new traders will get involved in that there's going to be buy trades here also as well anyone who's managed to get short in and around this area is looking to take profit at obvious support and resistance levels some of them being there some of them being here some of them being there and if you've sold if they've sold here then they have to do what to exit buy to exit yeah so that yeah that is a level that I really, really, really do like. Again, not your typical level, but when you're looking at this from a from a new high. So, for example, this now is definitely seen as a bargain price. This scene is seen as now quite expensive. Because prices haven't gotten higher, right? It's seen as an expensive price for now. Um, this whole zone, I guess, and if I take this uh, fib tool and from here to here. And then I just uh, turn that into a value range. This is going to be now at an area, in fact, probably an area of 61.8% fib to the other side, fib retracement. And let me just reverse this matter of fact. Um, yeah. And that lines up actually very nicely with this level here, which would be a 61.8% fib. Um, and again, obviously, from a fundamental perspective, you want to be a buyer of the uh, New Zealand dollar over the Japanese yen. Now, and that's not to say that fib, fib retracements don't work, but they do work, right? But this is one that's probably going to end up, you know, fingers crossed working. This is a 61.8% fib that I would want to take rather than something that goes against the fundamentals, right? So, um, so yeah, that we've got lots of confluence in this area if prices ever do come down here. Lots of buy orders. Who is selling around here? The only reason why you know prices may want to go through that zone is if potentially um, this is a not seen as a bargain, or b there's risk off sentiment, and the Japanese yen is the stronger out of the two. But from a technical analysis perspective, this covers all the bases. There's not really much to understand, much more to understand anyway, um, when it comes to looking at where there's likely to be supply more or more demand or more supply at a level right it's that's pretty much it so you get one that failed right which was here one Fib, fibonacci level that failed but that adds to this one and this should now see lots of a uh, demand in and around this zone so the, the, the lower this comes the more uh i want to get involved in that i'm going to set my alarm i'm this is not a trade call this is not for me this is not me telling you to get involved in this trade but this is something that i'm definitely going to be watching um for the foreseeable future and let's see what happens at this zone and then i want to be a buyer anyways guys take care hope that helps and uh, speak to you soon